At more than a decade older than China's pension age of 60, Wang Zhanling should be enjoying the fruits of his labour as he reaches his later years. But like many in China, a dwindling pension allowance has forced Wang back into the workforce. The Communist Party gives us around 100 yuan a month. That equates to less than $22, an income a growing number of China's pensioners say is simply not enough. For the first time in six decades, the country's population declined last year, six years after ending its one-child policy. In this northeastern province alone, deaths outnumbered births by more than fourfold in 2021. So, as fewer workers contribute tax dollars, provincial governments are tightening the purse strings. Retired farm worker Wang Fengqing has been suffering debilitating abdominal pains, but has avoided going to hospital to treat her diabetes. Her two sons are struggling to make ends meet, leaving 70-year-old Wang and her husband to provide for the family. It's situations like these which have seen some young adults decide to not have children at all. Without money, how can you raise a child? We have to make sure food is not a problem. You can't go to the rubbish bins. It's happening all over northeast China, parents subsidising their child. If it were me, I'd probably spend 50% of my energy on the child, but my parents spend 80%. Analysts say a fund set up in 2018 to shift pension money from rich coastal provinces to places like northeast China will run out of money by 2035. It leaves few options but to entirely overhaul the system. That will be unpopular to do and it will be difficult to do that in a fair and equitable way. But I, I think it, 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 that's something that really um, has to be done. With the number of people over the age of 60 expected to almost double by 2035, pensioners and experts agree urgent reform is needed. Tyson Whelan, ABC News.